Measure of dispersion for ungrouped data KSSM in the Medic Form 4 Self-Practice 8.2D Page 234 Number 1 The interquartile range and the standard division of the self data are 6 and 3.2 respectively Calculate the new interquartile range and the new standard division if each value of the self data is added by 4 According to textbook Page 228. There are no changes to the measure of dispersion when each value of the subdata is added or subtracted by a constant. Since each value of the subdata is added by 4, so there are no changes to the measure of dispersion. So the new interquartile range to be the same as the original interquartile range, that is 6. And the new standard division should be the same as the original standard division, that is 3.2. Question number 2. The interquartile range and the standard deviation of the sub data are 3 and 1.8 respectively. Calculate the new interquartile range and the new variance of each value of the sub data is multiplied by 3. According to the textbook, page 229. When each value of sub delta is multiplied by the constant k, the new range equals k times original range. New interquartile range equals k times original interquartile range. New standard division equals k times original standard division. And the new variance equals k squared times original variance. So the constant k is 3. So new interquartile range equals k times original interquartile range. k is 3. And the original interquartile range is 3. So the new interquartile range equals 9. The new variance equals k squared times original variance. k squared is 3 squared. So the new variance equals 3 squared times the original variance. However, we are given only the original standard division. We know that standard division equals square root of variance. So standard division squared equals variance. So the original variance equals the original standard division squared means 1.8 square. So the new variance equals 29.16. Question number 3. Given a set of data 4, 6, 7, 8, 10, 12, and 16, calculate the standard deviation of the set of data and explain the change on the standard deviation if 7D is added to the set of data. In order to find the standard deviation, we need to find the means. Means equals to the average of the set of data. That is 9. And standard division equals to square root of variance. So this is variance. Means we square all the numbers and add all of them or the total number of data that is 7 minus means 9 square and square root of it then we get 3.742 the question answers to explain the change on the standard division if 70 is added to the set of data so we add 70 to the set of data so the new mean is 16.625 and the new standard division equals is the new variance we add 70 square minus the new mean 16.625 square so the new standard division equals 20.475 so we compare the original standard division and the new standard division the standard division increased a lot when 70 is added to the set of data because 70 is an outlier number four a determine the standard division of the set of data 3 4 7 9 and 10. To find the standard division, we need to find the mean of the set of data. So mean equals 6.6. 6. 
standard division equals square root of variance. Variance equals square all of the data, add all of them per total number of data minus min square. So standard division equals 2.728. B. Use the answer in A to determine the new standard division of each of following set of data. Number 1. 6, 8, 14, 18, and 20. And we found that this data equals 2 times the original data. To find the new standard division, according to textbook page 229, when each value of the set of data is multiplied by the constant k, then the new standard division equals k times original standard division. So, new standard division equals k is 2 times original standard division 2.728. So, the new standard division equals 5.456. Number 2. We found that the data is half time the original data. So the new standard division equals half because the k is half. So half time the original standard division 2.728. So the new standard division for the second set of data is 1.364. Number 5. The range and the variance of the set of data are 25 and 2.7 respectively. If each value of the data is added by 2, then multiplied by 4, determine the new range and the new variance. If each value of the data is added by 2, according to textbook page 228, there are no changes to the mesh of dispersion when each value of a set of data is added or subtracted by a constant. It means that there are no change to range and the variance when each value of data is added by 2. So we don't need to care this condition. Multiplied by 4. According to textbook page 229, the new range equals k time original range. So k is 4. 4 times the original range, 25. So new range equals 100. The new variance equals k squared times original variance. So k squared is 4 squared. And the original variance is 2.7. So the new variance equals 43.2. Number 6. The last question. The interquartile range and the standard deviation of the sub data are 2.7 and 3.6 respectively. If each value of the data is divided by 3, then subtracted by 2, to mean the new interquartile range and the new standard deviation. Each value of data is divided by 3. According to textbook page 229, when each value of the set of data is divided by a constant k in 3, so the new interquartile range equals original interquartile range 2.7 per k. k is 3. So the new interquartile range equals original interquartile range 2.7 per k. That is 3. So new interquartile range equals 0 0.9. The new standard division equals original standard division 3.6 per k per 3. So the new standard division equals 1.2 subtracted by 2. According to textbook page 228, there are no changes to the mesh of dispersion when each value of the set of data is added or subtracted by a constant. The constant is 2. Since there are no change to the standard division and interquartile range, so the answer remains the same.